Podbean statistics offer a lot of valuable information about your podcast that can help with everything from sponsorship and advertising to understanding uh, what kind of content is popular with your users. So if you go to your dashboard and you'll see the statistics over here, I'm already logged in in there. The first thing that pops up is the summary and the summary has the, at the top here, the uh, all time total plays and the last three months total plays. This account doesn't have a lot of statistics, but it should be uh, pretty easy to look at and, and get some ideas about how this works. Um, the other chart that's shown right here at the top is a visual representation of my trends of my podcast uh, over the last three months. And you can also scroll over and see more details. So on this date, 13 plays, for example. So you can look at, at that in more detail and you can see the ups and downs of your podcast. As you scroll down, you see the data distribution over the last three months, and this shows you your geographic distribution. So here will be your top locations. So for me, 47% of the listeners were in China, and then United States, Germany, and UK. So it shows that, and again, you can scroll over and see more specifics. The clients distribution shows the clients that are being used by the listeners. So that is the browser or that kind of thing. It's just Safari, Firefox. Um, in this case, there's some unknown uh, browsers as well. So you can scroll over here and see Chrome. Chrome is my top and uh, Firefox and Safari. And then the platform distribution shows a graphical representation of what platform people are using. Mac uh, OS X is my most popular and Windows being the second. So that will show um, the platform that their listeners are using. As you go down, you see the top 10 most played episodes from the last three months. So this is really useful data to see what your more popular episodes are. To get into more detail on these statistics, we can go over to the different choices under the tabs. The first tab is the trending tab. And this is going to show the graph of the trends in more detail. So what this allows us to do is make a choice. Say we want to look just at the trend for a particular file. Uh, that we have. So uh, we have this particular episode and we can see, you know, maybe when it first came out it had a lot of plays and then maybe there was another time when it became popular when I did some promotion or something. So that's very useful uh, to be able to look at those specifically. And I'll change it back to all files and we can also do pick the time frame that we want. So we can look at a particular month, the last 30 days, all time, or we can pick custom and pick our own date range. So we could go back to December, I'm not going to have a lot of statistics here, but we'll go December through September, and then that graph shows just that time frame. And down at the bottom, again, are my top 10 most played episodes. And then down here are the episode play details. So this shows the time, the IP, country, and client of a particular play. If you see perhaps an anomaly where there's an episode where plays surge or something, and you're just wondering, you know, where is that traffic coming from? or what might be going on, this can be helpful. Some listeners, some podcasters like to look at this detail. And one of the newer features on Podbean allows you to export this data. So you can get the uh, information going back uh, into the last few months. So if you click here, you'll see I have the last three months so I can look at whichever one I want and then it will export to an Excel file. So that's a nice uh, extra feature to have. Now we can go up and look at some other details. The next tab is platforms. And platforms is going to show are the listeners using Windows, iOS, uh, Mac, Android, iPhone, Blackberry, those kind of things. So again, we can do similar things where we look at all time, last three months, September, or custom, as I showed with the last. And you see down here, there's the graphical representation, but you can scroll over and get more detail. And you can also see it represented here with the detailed information on the total and the percentage. So sometimes this, these things are useful. Um, if you're a technology podcast, it's obviously very useful um, because you might be talking about some of this stuff and want to know what your listeners are using, where they're focused. Advertisers sometimes also want to target particular types of users. And sometimes there may be technical difficulties or other things that you're talking about with your, your users, so it, it makes sense to know this information. So that's the platforms. Then the next one is clients. And very similar looking, and you have the same options up here. 
this shows the browsers that my listeners may be using and shows you know Chrome, iPhone media player, iTunes, podcast apps, all of that kind of stuff. Have the graphical representation here and then the details over here as well. Geography of my listeners. This is a really useful, um, really handy tool. You often want to have advertisers or sponsors that you know, have a particular interest in a particular geography, so it helps to be able to tell them where your listeners are. Uh, it's also useful for, your, for things that you're saying in your podcast. If you're referencing things that may be country or culture specific, um, you find you have users in different areas, uh, it may be helpful in you know, referencing miles versus kilometers and things like that. And also just to include your users and uh, talk about you know, where you have users perhaps from all over the world or in different, if different distributions. So this is really handy to know. And so this right here, we're showing the last three months at the moment, and this is my world distribution. And again, we can scroll over and see China, seven plays, uh, Denmark, two, so forth. There's also a USA-specific one, since a lot of people are USA-focused and may want to know more in depth about uh, the states where their users are. So this allows you to look at the map of the US and it has a similar feel there. So again, you can look for different date range if you want to look at most recent and that. And then under here, you can see my top 10 states under my US view. So that's really handy. The next tab is the feed hits. And this is the number of times that your feed is fetched. Uh, you can look at the chart down here and you can use the various time frames just like you can on all of the other uh, statistics. And the feed hits data down here also shows you more detail. Uh, the IP address, the country, that kind of thing about those feed hits that were fetched. So for podcasts, it's a little different than just a, a standard static website. So it really helps to know things like your episode plays, uh, popularity of episodes, but it's also you know, helpful to be able to look at those feed hits to get a better idea of kind of total traffic and listenership. Google Analytics is the final uh, piece here. And for Google Analytics, if you have an unlimited or above plan, then you can add the Google Analytics code to your site so that you can get more in-depth analytics about your uh, site's performance. So to do this, you actually go to Google first. If you log into your Google account, uh, get the Google Analytics uh, code ID cut and paste it in here and save. And then you'll have that ability that when you log into your Google Analytics to see more uh, information and detail about your podcast site. So that's very useful. So um, overall, it provides you a lot of great information when you look at your trends and the information about your episodes uh, can really help as you're planning because if you find that certain episodes are particularly popular, it may be something that you did in terms of promotion, but it may be the, content, the nature of the content. So you may see over time certain trends about episode topics that are popular, uh, find that when you have a guest, the episode is more popular, find that when you pr uh, promote it at a certain time, uh, that's most popular. So a lot of this can be really useful in helping to grow and uh, make your podcast better. So make sure to use those Podbean stats, and a lot of this has just been updated in the recent months, so if you haven't gone in and taking a tour around, go and check it out.